All right, packet people, next up in packet school, we're gonna look at how to find a packet using the find feature in the toolbar. This is a feature that's just really good to know about in Wireshark, even when we're doing our regular analysis. So let's see how it works. So you can download this PCAP in the link in the description down below and follow along. Uh, what we're gonna be focusing on up here is this magnifying glass. You see that up there? You ever used that before? If you hover over it, it says find a packet. Well, why would I need to use that? Well, a lot of times for me personally, where I use it is when I'm looking for something in a packet that isn't necessarily a part of an ASCII uh, payload that I can dissect or decode over here on the right. Uh, let me give you an example. So let's come up here to our display filter and I'm going to type in frame contains body. All right, so that word per se does not appear in, in the actual body or payload of the packet. But let's just say that that word did appear somewhere over here in the uh, packet detail view. How would I be able to find it? Well, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit find packet. Now up here, this is where I can select. Do I want to look at the packet list? So that packet list up top. Do I want to look at packet details or packet bytes? Let's take a look at packet details. And I'm going to go ahead and search for a string. It's possible to do a display filter, hex value, string, regular expression. Let's do string. I'm just going to type in body and I'm gonna say find. So now I can see it doesn't just look for the word body over here, but it's actually looking through my detail view over here. And you can see that I see that word body there. Now, if I say find, it can skip to the next one. It can go find uh, further occurrences of this word over in the packet details. So this is just one way to use that find feature. There's a lot of other uh, specific examples that we could think of. Maybe we're looking uh, for a specific type of reg regular expression over there in the packet details, or maybe even up here in the packet summary, uh, there's uh, something about this packet we want to search for that doesn't necessarily hit a specific filter if we just use a display filter up top. Or maybe we don't want to go to the trouble of applying a full filter and we just want to be able to see where that packet hits in our packet list or packet display. So that's just a quick tip from Packet School. Thanks for stopping by and we will see you again.